guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going to be doing a full face testing and using Milani, uh, is it Milani Makeup, Milani Cosmetics? It's Milani the drugstore brand, the very well known and loved drugstore brand. Now I have certainly tried products from this brand before and I have absolutely loved them. So here in front of me I have a mixture of products that I've already tested that are in fact favourites and also some brand new releases. Uh, we've got everything, primer, foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, uh, mascara, bronzer, blush, highlight, lipsticks, lip balm, uh, lip gloss, setting spray. We literally have everything. So basically today I'm going to be creating a full face using Milani. I'm going to update you guys as I go, you know, obviously on which products that I enjoy, which products that I don't, which ones that I recommend. And hopefully we come up with something that's cute. <laughs> so as always, if you are new here, please make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's jump straight into the video. All right. So first up, I'm going to be prepping my skin and I actually have a face oil. Now I do know that this one lit up the internet a few months ago. Uh, a lot of people were raving on about it and I'm kind of like a little bit nervous being that it's a face oil. You guys know I adore using oils in my skincare routine, but because I'm an oily skin type, it pretty much exclusively needs to be only at night time. Like I don't typically, like I can't really get away with using them during the day and before putting makeup on. So we will see how it goes. So it is the Rose Prep and Brighten Face Oil. Um, it's meant to be lightweight, fast absorbing. It's meant to replenish the skin um, for all day hydration, basically, and prep and prime the skin as well. Oh, I really like the packaging for this one. It's actually really luxe like quite pretty looking. So this is here is what it looks like. It's got a little dropper. I'm curious about whether this one's actually scented. Oh, no, it's not really scented. So yeah. All right, cool. So putting a little bit in my hands, I'm going to start to work it into the skin. Oh, it is quite a lightweight oil actually. Still curious about how this is going to go with my oily skin. Like I just, I really don't know. <laughs> All right, so it hasn't absorbed yet, but it's definitely more lightweight than a lot of oils that I do use. And interestingly, it hasn't left that much of a sheen or a shine on my skin. Like I kind of would have expected my skin to look quite dewy, but it actually doesn't. It's quite lightweight. Oh my God, you guys also, oh, it actually, it is scented. It has a rose scent. I couldn't smell it before, but I can smell it now that it like gets heated up on my skin. Hmm. All right, cool. Um, you guys, I just sent an email to book our wedding venue. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, if you guys haven't been following, if you're not subscribed, if you don't know about it, I have a separate vlog channel. So the channel is called Nakia and Brandon and it is all our day-to-day -day stuff. It's like what we get up to at home, like the puppies and cooking and baking and you know, everything non-makeup related basically. And we are documenting and vlogging our entire wedding journey. So planning the wedding, we've done all the venue tours. If you want to check them out, I've done that, you know, all on my channel. I'm making my bridesmaid proposal boxes. That video went up just last week. Just make sure you head over and subscribe to that channel if you're interested in keeping up with all the wedding updates because it's all happening over there. I'm just so excited. We're finally getting married. We have a date too. Oh, I can't deal. I'm so excited. I'm still just trying to give this a little bit more time to <laughs> absorb into my skin. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily that fast absorbing, but I will say on a no makeup day, I would adore wearing that product because it just looks beautiful on the skin. So let's move on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Uh, this is an awesome foundation. I do have a specific review, uh, like video of it here on my channel, but I got to tell you... <laughs> I feel like it's like five or six years old. Like I am a tiny little baby in that video. If I can find it, uh, I will link it on the screen for you. But I really enjoyed this foundation. It's got really good coverage. I am interested to see all these years later because I haven't really used it at all. Uh, interested to see all these years later if I actually do still love it as much as I used because my preferences have definitely changed over the years. Oh my God, you guys, can you see what I just did? I have just squirted foundation all over this top. <laughs> oh my God. Um, love that for me. Okay, cute. I've just mixed two shades of the foundation um, on the back of my hand and we'll go ahead and apply it. 
Oh, it's definitely full coverage. I can't deny that. I remember really enjoying it. Like I remember it being like quite full coverage and quite, you know, perfecting. Like it, it really, I remember it making my skin looking really perfect. But at the same time, I can't remember if it felt heavy or not. I've become really fussy about whether like foundations, like how heavy they feel on the skin. It definitely literally looks like a filter on my skin it just looks so incredibly perfect oh my goodness and it's more of like a glowy sort of formula than i remember although that could be the primer i guess oh my god and fair to say too in comparison to six years ago my skin is in way better condition i'm so much more like consistent with my skincare routine i'm using way better products than i used to like when i originally filmed that review of that foundation i reckon that was even before i discovered dermalogica and you guys know <laughs> dermalogica has changed this girl's skin genuinely has changed my skin like oh, i'm so glad that i discovered them i literally can't believe i squirted foundation all over myself it's such an ikea thing to happen honestly <laughs> All right, you guys, I can definitely say that foundation makes my skin look perfect. Literally like Photoshop on the skin. It's so smoothing. It's so perfecting. It's definitely more of like a glowy formula. Whether or not that will, you know, make things kind of hairy during the day for me, we'll see. Uh, but at the minute, it certainly looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. We're going to do brows. I have got a Milani brow pencil. This is the Precision Brow pencil yep doesn't have another name uh in the shade soft brown so we're gonna try this one out okay so this is what the little brown pencil looks like it's got a nice fine little tip at one end and then we've got a spoolie at the other so we'll see how this goes uh being that the shade is soft brown it may not be like quite dark enough for me it's actually not too bad it's a nice dry formula which i love a lot of brow pencils that i've tested in the past have been like i don't know too soft of a formula and you even just touch the skin slightly and you end up with like this insanely dark colored line looks super unnatural but this one's actually quite natural looking it's drawing in like little fine hair strokes and the color's not too bad so even though my hair is like so dark actually i really need to do my roots at the minute um it is actually matching up quite well i quite like this pencil it's it's really easy to use so so far so good all right so i didn't have a milani eyeshadow primer so i've just quickly primed my eyes off the camera now let's move on to eyeshadow palettes i've got two options here uh, this one I'm really quite drawn to. So this is the Milani Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Burning Desire. This one is a little six pan palette. Uh, beautiful tones in here. And it looks like, yes, three shimmers and three mattes. Interestingly, I was just reading. Uh, it's a, it says it's got a creamy powder formula, uh, intensely pigmented multidimensional for hours of gorgeous wear. And you can customize the intensity by using your fingers or a brush. Wow, that's pretty normal for every eyeshadow palette. I was quite drawn to this one. Very pretty neutral eyeshadow palette. But then also here I have got the Milani Luster Light uh, eyeshadow palette. So this is a larger eyeshadow palette. It has got, yes, it's got a mirror in it. And the shades in this are really pretty as well. This one dead set reminds me of the Huda Beauty. What's that one called? Hang on, let me get it. <laughs> okay, so the one that I was thinking of was the Rose Gold palette, but looking at them side by side, I mean, yeah, they're similar, but the Huda one's obviously got way more options. Uh, very similar color story, very similar color palette, but obviously being that this is Milani, a whole lot more affordable. So yeah, we might have a little bit of a play with both of these palettes. Uh, both of them look really pretty. And the shimmers in this one actually, like, look seriously divine i've i was swatching them and oh gosh they're very soft in texture though um they look very very pigmented like especially like that pink there oh my god um yeah we'll have a little bit of play with both of these and we'll see what we think so first up picking up this medium orangey brown um, i'm gonna sweep that one across both whoa okay so that's a lot more pigmented than i thought 
how are you going? <laughs> now my eyeshadow primer is still damp, so that could have something to do with why it's looking so intense on my lid. Oh, also you guys, um, all the brushes that I'm using are obviously from my brand, Nikia Joy Cosmetics. The brush sets are coming back and all of the sold out brushes will be back in stock very soon. I'm sorry that it's taken so ridiculously long to get them back in stock. Um, I've been seeing all the messages and emails and DMs and comments and I know, I know, I know, I know. It should literally only be like two to three weeks when we're not far off at all. Uh, because of the pandemic, there has been lots of delays. So I am sorry, but they are coming. Now, back to this. Uh, this eyeshadow is freaking amazing. So pigmented, so buttery. It's blending out beautifully. Uh, definitely zero complaints from me on that one so that was our diffused blend brush i'm going to take our precision shader and i'm just going to work that same shade through the lower lash line as well it's honestly insanely pigmented i'm really quite impressed uh, with the pigmentation of that one it's beautiful all right blending it sort of upwards and outwards to lift the eyes and give more shape Let's move on to a darker color. I might actually go into this slightly deeper brown shade. Maybe I should just use this mini palette and save the other one for another video. Shall we do that? Because then I'll be able to give you a better review on which one is worth it. Like rather than saying like, oh, you know, I tested a few shades from both. Um, I'll be able to give you a better idea. So let's, we're going to go with that. So this shade is packing on incredibly well. Again, insanely insanely pigmented so beautiful so just packing it on the outer corners and then i'm going to go back in with that same diffused blend brush from earlier and just sort of feather out the edges smooth it all in kind of once blended out that one does look kind of similar ish to the original shade that we did apply but maybe like one to two shades darker nothing like super super dramatic but Honestly, they blend out so well. Like so far, the formula of this palette is phenomenal. I'm really, really enjoying it. And then I'm going to go in with this really pretty coppery. It's like a, I don't know, a blend between like a copper and a peach. And I'm going to pack that one all over the lid. Oh, wow. That's really beautiful. What an easy palette, like to throw together a quick look. I love palettes like that. And I especially love mini palettes. I don't know, you know how like you'll open like a 20 shade eyeshadow palette and you're just like, I was feeling inspired and now I'm not because I'm just so overwhelmed with all of the options. I love mini palettes like this because I just make life easy. This shimmer is pretty, but it's definitely more of like a satin shadow uh, as opposed to like a real foil, you know, like full on kind of a shimmer. Very pretty though, very smooth. And you can see I've got hardly any fallout. So um, yeah. It's a beautiful product. All right, back in with the precision shader. That was our flat shader. I'm going to pick up the gold. And I'm going to pack that one right on the inner third of the eye and sort of sweep it through the inner corner and down into the lower lash line. I probably will use a highlighter as well later on because admittedly that gold is not showing up that much because they're... Like I said, they're not necessarily like shimmer, shimmer shades. They're definitely more like it's a satin. I'll, I would call it a satin. And then with a large shader, I'm going to pick up the matte cream shadow. And I'm going to pop that on the brow bone. I love that they've done a matte highlight in this one. I really love a matte brow bone highlight. They're just so polished and I don't know. Sometimes a shimmer can be a little bit too much. Overall though, you guys... Beautiful eyeshadow palette. I've really enjoyed using it. Love the packaging. Love the way that it blends. Love the formulas. Um, the shimmers are satins, but I could easily see myself reaching for this one every day. I really enjoy it. All right, moving on to mascara. I've got the Milani Life Proof Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. Now, this will be interesting. I'm actually going to try uh, curling my lashes and then we will apply this and we'll see if it actually holds the curl. That's a one thing that I have struggled with with many, many mascaras. Like the ones that I've got that I love, they work well, but a lot of the time I'll curl my lashes, put the mascara on and they just go, mm, they go back to being like literally straight. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. All the packaging is quite nice. It says Milani. Let's have a look at the brush. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, so it's a nice little bristle brush. That one's actually, it looks quite good and it looks like quite a nice dry formula, which is really awesome to see. A lot of mascaras, especially waterproof ones, are very oily, very wet, and they can make a huge, huge mess on your eyes and on your skin when you go to apply them. So this one looks pretty good. Now it says that it's 24 hours, smudge proof, sweat proof, waterproof, cry proof, life proof. <laughs> That sounds awesome. So I've just grabbed my lash curler. Let's see if we can get a nice kink in my lashes and then we'll put the mascara on. All right, my lashes on this side have a nice kink in them. Let's see how this goes. All right, so it's quite a chunky formula. Ooh, it's definitely picking up on the lashes though, making them look quite long. All right, so here is my lashes with it and without it. Because it is quite a sort of thick kind of almost gluggy formula it's a little tricky to work it sort of onto the lashes but I do think overall you know it's certainly like you can see my lashes um whether or not they stay standing up is going to be the question. All right, so there's what it looks like. I don't mind it. I definitely don't mind it. I don't feel like it's the best mascara that I've ever used and I do feel like the lashes are starting to droop a little. Uh, but I'll give it a few minutes to dry and then I'll recurl them and then we'll see what they're looking like then. I'm also going to pop it on my lower lashes so we'll see what it looks like. All right, I've got on the lower lashes and I curled them again and we'll see how well it holds. I do feel like they're already drooping, but we'll do the rest of my face makeup and then we'll come back and we'll have a look. So next up, the Milani Longwear uh, Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Basically, I think this is meant to be as amazing as a foundation, really full coverage, really nice on the skin. The only thing is I might have a shade that's a little too fair for me, but we will make it work. Oh, maybe we'll be all right. We'll make it work either way. Gosh, it's very, very creamy on the skin as you apply it. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose and underneath my eyes. I don't really feel like I need it anywhere else on my skin because that foundation has just given me such beautiful, beautiful coverage. Uh, it's covered all the redness, all the darkness, pretty much anything that I would normally cover. So we're going to leave it for now. And I'm going to blend that in as well. Quite creamy. Um, it's actually blending out really easily. Oh my gosh, I've been so impressed with all these products so far. The drugstore is killing it with makeup at the minute. Like seriously, I do recommend. It's really brightened the under eye area. It's really corrected. It was so easy to blend out. I really like that concealer. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a setting powder, so I'm just going to quickly set my makeup. All right, so I'm just using our velvet finishing powder to set this down. I did check my drawers, but yeah, I don't have any Milani powder, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, I've, I've just set like only one half of my skin. Look how beautiful and smooth it looks over top of the foundation. That foundation, you guys... I'm really happy with it so far. I'm going to start setting the other side now. I do unfortunately feel like that mascara is drooping. It definitely has not held the curl in my lashes, sadly. So I might actually pop a pair of falsies on. Um, and I mean, it's only been like literally five minutes. So I can imagine as time goes on, my lashes is just going to continue to be like, noob. <laughs> get even more flat. All right, so I've got some lashes on. I ended up going in with our Amy lash. So moving back onto the skin, this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil. Uh, I have heard really good things about this and I'm pretty sure I have never actually tried it. I'm curious to know it's a very, very popular product, but it does look quite shimmery. So I'm curious to know, is it going to look shimmery on the skin? Like, cause <laughs> my textured skin and shimmery bronzes don't really get along. <laughs> All right, so just taking an angled contour brush. Oh! I may have been very, very wrong about this, you guys. That actually, it looks matte on the skin. How is that even possible? Like in the pan, there is so much shimmer, but then on the skin, Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, it nearly has like a blaring effect on the skin too. 
really easy to apply, really easy to blend. Milani, I am feeling you and I am liking you. <laughs> and it's funny too, every time I'm testing products now in the back of my mind, I'm like, is this the wedding one? Is this the bronzer for our wedding? So many different things to consider. All right, so I'm blending that one over the top of my hairline. Honestly, love this one on the skin. Really, really like it. Uh, it's beautiful. Whether or not it actually stays looking like this on the skin, and I will obviously be wearing this makeup all day, I will update all of that. I feel like my skin is looking not too shabby. Like the foundation, the concealer, now the bronzer. Wow. Moving on to blush now, the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is again a holy grail product. Everybody knows and loves this one. I did have an old original one, but side by side in the pan with this new one, the shade looked slightly different. This one looks deeper and sort of less shimmery. So we'll see, you know, what I think on the skin. Ooh, okay. They're very soft in the pan. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to dust that onto my cheeks. Yeah, it's sort of like a blush and a highlighter all rolled into one. Can you see the sheen that it's put on my skin there? So this is just a blush. Really, really pretty though. Very soft, very flattering. I do understand why this is a holy grail. And I used to be absolutely obsessed with this one as well. Like... It is really, really nice. And then for highlighter, I have their strobe light, their day glow, no, instant glow powder. I think it's in the shade either strobe light or day glow. I can't tell. This one looks really, really pretty though. It's got like this pretty wave stamping in the pan there. I'm wondering, oh, that does look nice. So going in with a highlighter brush. I'm going to apply that one just to the tops of my cheeks. Now that blush, you probably honestly could get away with not using a highlighter because it already is quite intense. But that highlighter is beautiful as well, I must say. I don't feel like it's necessarily too over the top overwhelming. Like it does seem like more of like a subtle highlight. But oh no, it's showing up a lot more on my nose there. But I will say it's definitely really smooth on the skin. Like it's not emphasizing texture. It's not really highlighting the bumps that I have. The bumps. <laughs> I will pick a little of that same highlighter up though. And I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner of my eyes. Just sort of next to that goal, just to really highlight that further. All right, so to finish off, I've got a few lipsticks here to try. Uh, some more deep, dark tones, really, really good for fall and winter. And then some pinks. I feel like I always do pink, so we're not going to do pink today. I'm uh, considering this one here. I am awesome. This one looks like a really peachy color, which is going to match the eye look perfectly. So this is the Milani Bold Matte Lipstick. Shade is I Am Awesome. Ooh, that's a really, really pretty peach color. I've never tried these lipsticks before. The packaging is quite nice. They definitely feel really luxe, like, you know, a lot more expensive than a lot of drugstore lipsticks do normally feel. Let's try this. All right, definitely quite matte. Also very pigmented for such a light shade. Like normally shades that are this light, I do have quite pigmented lips and they just look really streaky a lot of the time, but that one's actually really pigmented, so it goes on quite smooth. And for a matte lipstick, like it looks really matte on the lips, but it doesn't feel matte necessarily. Like it's got like a hydrating balmy kind of texture. I quite like that. Now I do also have a gloss here, but I think I might actually keep the lips matte. So we'll save this one for another video. And then to finish everything off, we have a setting spray. I've been so excited to try this. So this is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Promises 16 hours of wear. Oh, it also primes. So if you wanted to, you can actually use uh, this like on the skin before going in with your makeup. Yeah, I did not realize that at all. All right, what is the spritzer like? A lot of drugstore ones are like quite aggressive and you like shoot yourself in the eye with them. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so it's got a light scent. Does it have alcohol? Oh, it's got alcohol in it. This could be quite a good one, you guys. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay. Keep your eyes shut when you first apply it. It is a little stingy. Oh, but I like that. It's really even further smoothed down my makeup. I just can't believe how nice my skin is looking, honestly, that foundation. 
Why did I stop using it? It is beautiful. Oh, I'm a happy girl. Well, this here is the finished look. Definitely really, really happy with a lot of these products. I really quite enjoyed the primer. Even though it's an oil, like I said, I will be updating in the comments down below or I'll, I'll pin it in the comments or I'll put it in the description bar. Uh, for an oil primer on my oily skin, I still am really happy. Obsessed with the foundation. The concealer was beautiful. I loved the eyebrow pencil. Really, really liked this eyeshadow palette. Definitely recommend this one. Just so quick and easy to use. And I love, you know, how well it went on the eyes, how easy it was to blend. And I also love the overall look. Absolutely obsessed with that bronzer. I feel like I'm going to be using this bronzer every single day. It's just... So smooth and perfect on the skin. Loved the blush, loved the highlight. The highlight, uh, I mean, I did, I do like it, but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily like an absolute be all end all. Um, and really, really, really love this lipstick. So overall, I've had a very good experience with these Milani products. Now I want to know you guys, are there any Milani products that you have that you just absolutely swear by that you really think that I need to try? Please, please pop them in the comments down below so that I can try them out as well. And let me know also what you think of the finished look. It's come out quite monochrome, like a really cool peach monochrome kind of makeup. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I hope that you enjoyed the video today, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. And I will catch you all in my next one.